right? We give our praises to Yahweh yeah, by Shami Al Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations to the men of the Hope Land Sensei Elect. This is the Trinidad Cup. So I want to do a little edification for the Lord's sake. All right, we see we are the end. We are the end right now. We've seen, you know, wars arising, you know, tension between different nations. You see, they're pushing the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Hey, we're almost out of here. You understand? We're almost out. So we just want to go through this, script, you know, this class, through the, the spirit of the Mosai, Yabba, Shemi, Al Shai, you know, to give brothers encouragement to show them that, hey, we at, you know, them last times. All right, give me that piece up. This is Hosea, chapter 6, verse 1. Come and let us return unto Yahweh. For he had torn and he will heal us. Yeah, so the Lord had torn us. How the Lord torn us? The Lord torn us from the kingdom. All right, let me bring this piece up real quick to show the Lord torn us. This is the book of Job. This is um, Job 19, verse 9. He had stripped me of my glory, he had taken the crown from my head. So when he was in the kingdom back in the ancient time, the Lord took us down. The Lord said to send nations against us. Four nations to be exact. That stripped Israel from their rulership. Okay. That's how the Lord torn us. Okay. All right? Go ahead. Lord, Lord hide his face from us. Pursue into Hosea 5 and 15. All right? Go ahead. Okay. He hath smitten and he will bind us up. Yeah. Sending us here in slavery. All right? Go ahead. After two days will he revive us. Yeah. So the Lord reviving us now because right now is the time of restitution. The time of restoration. Okay. All right, pursuing to Malachi chapter 4, I believe it's verse 5. He will send um, Elijah the prophet again. All right, the Lord binding us up right now. The Lord healing us right now. Go ahead. In the third day, he will raise us up. Yeah, in the third day, he shall raise us up. So right now, we're in the beginning of the third day. So we are the time when the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahshai going to visit the earth. All right, go ahead. And we shall live in his sight. Yeah, we shall live in his sight. So that is where we are about to enter into that time with the Lord coming to deliver us from this hell that we're in, this, this captivity that we're in, and bring us into his kingdom. Okay. Hoping that we part of that hope we elect to enter into the Lord's borders, all right, to be numbered, and to enter into the gates. All right? Okay. Go ahead. You have something? Okay. This is um, Matthew chapter 17 and verse 11. It says, And Yahweh Shai, yeah, it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. Yeah, restore all things. You understand? So Elias had to come and restore all things. Go ahead. With Elias is Elijah back in the scriptures. All right, go ahead. Verse 12. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Mm -hmm. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Yeah. So Elijah, Eli um, Elijah had to come and restore all things. But who he, what are the old things he gonna restore? He gonna restore that bond between us and the Mosai, that adoption. All right, he paved the way for Yahweh Shai when he come, which was John the Baptist. Come. For that adoption for the Mosai to take us back, restore that bond. Paul, you know, I think it's Ephesians talk about the reconciliation. Reconciliate to means to, to bring back into friendship. You understand? So that is the time we're in now. That restitution, that restoring, that re revival that we're in. We're in that time right now. Yeah. That's why we get back our heritage, get back with understanding, pay back on with flesh, pay back on with sinews, get the bread back in us. That is the time we're in right now, the time of restitution, right? Go ahead. Yeah. It says in verse 13, Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Of John the Baptist, because that is who Elijah was. All right? But you know, some people might say, well, he restoring all people, bringing all people back. You understand? But let me hear who John the Baptist was sent to. So we're going to know who, he, who is the all things he's going to restore. Give me the Acts. Okay. Acts 1? Yeah, Acts 1 or Acts 1. Acts Luke, Luke, Luke. 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 Mm -hmm. Luke, Luke chapter 1, verse 13, it says, But the angel <clears throat> said unto, unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayers heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. And thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. Yeah, because his name is what? The Mosai has grace. Yahweh Canaan. The Mosai has grace. The Lord brought grace upon Israel, brought back his grace and mercy upon Israel. All right? No man, oh man. Go ahead. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit 
even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall return to the Lord their power. Yeah, many of who? Many of the children of Israel shall return to their Howard their power. Yeah. So the children of Israel is the ones he's gonna return on the most side, he's gonna turn them back. You understand? He's gonna turn us back. Okay, my Acts 1 and 6, he's gonna turn us back onto what? Onto the most side. And that is that is who the Lord was sent. Um, Yahweh Shai was sent for, sent unto Israel. John the Baptist was sent unto Israel. God. Right? The scripture said that he was made manifest unto all Israel. So the restitution, the time of restoration is only for Israel. And that is why we're growing right now. Habakkuk said, do I see the destruction coming? Guess what? I still going to rejoice. We see now World War III going to break out. And we rejoice in. Not because, simply because war going to break out. But because why? Because we know that you cannot... Um, take the strong man unless you bind the strong man first. So the Lord had to come and destroy Esau and then take us out. We swim back to Jeremiah 30 and 8. He said, At that time shall the Lord take his yoke from off our neck. You understand? So that's why we rejoice here because the Lord is restoring us right now. He's going to restore us to our rightful place. All right, go ahead. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 6. It says, When they therefore will come together, Acts chapter 1, verse 6, it says, when they therefore will come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Yeah, so back then when the Lord was leaving the apostles, that is where they asked, Lord, will thou at this set time return again the kingdom to Israel? But it wasn't that time yet, but now is that time. Now when you look up the word restore, the word restore there means to return to its former state. Return to the state before the Lord has smitten us. Return before the Lord had cast us down and bruised us. Return to that time. Because we were the ones that fell. You understand? We were the ones that fell. That is why Jeremiah 5.25 says your iniquity are withholding these things from you. You understand? We were the ones who fell. So we are the ones who had to restore their hearts unto Israel. Unto the Moosai. You understand? Sure. Somebody give me a... Um, give me... Acts chapter 3 verse 20 to 21. Acts chapter 3 verse 20. And ye shall send you the Hawashiah Mashiach, Mashiach, which before before was preached unto you. 21. Whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution. Yeah, just like when um, he, he received, he was received up in the presence of the apostles. You understand? Who the heavens must receive. Go ahead, until what? Until. Un until the times of restitution until of all things. Until the time of restitution of all things. All things, going back to Luke 1, talk about what? The restoration of the, 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 the bond or the marriage, the union between the Mosai, Yahabah, Hashem, Yahushai, and Israel, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Good. That is the restoration of all things. I want to look up the word restitution in that scripture. It says, to a perfect state before the fall. Good. So who were the ones that fall? Give me Romans 11. Romans 11, 9 11. Who were the ones that fell? Because it said to return to a perfect state before the fall. The people that fell were Israel. Okay. To fall, you had to be standing at one point. And the only people that was in that good standing with the most side was the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which make up the house of Israel. Okay. Yashala is all right for him. Okay. All right, give me that Romans. This is Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, now, so that's um, Romans 11, so that's verse 9. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 9. Back, read, read, read verse 1. This is Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, had the Most High cast away his people, God forbid. Yeah, so guess what? The Lord cast us away. The Lord cast us away. So now, bringing us back together with the way the Lord restoring all things. Can't, can't. Restoring all things, as the scripture said, who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? So now, if a thief broke into your house and take everything, when you put, when you get a chance to replace those things, you actually restore the things that the thief took. Okay. And the thief is the other nations, beginning with the so-called white man. Okay. So the Lord said, is had, had, um, had the most I cast off his people with you for you. Go ahead. It says. For I also am an Israelite. Yeah, so you go, going back to show that, guess what? The Lord people is Israel. And that is only who this book for, pursuing to Malachi 3.16. Go ahead. For I am also an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, mm -hmm. of the tribe of Benjamin. 
verse 2, no, from verse 9. Verse 9, it says, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Mm -hmm. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see mm -hmm. and bow down their back always. I see them have they stumbled that they should fall. Yahweh forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentiles. Yes. So now it says they, they, they fell. Huh. So we're pursuing back to what? To Acts 3 and 21. Huh. To restore to our fall before they, before they fall. So it's showing Israel is the one who fell. That's right. But guess what? People go say, well, see, they fall so that all the nations will come, come together now. So guess what? So you're trying to tell me that Israel went through all this hell, pursuing to 2nd Israel chapter 7, such as Israel's portion. Israel went through all this hell to enter into the kingdom. And these are the nations going to enter into the kingdom scotch free. Wall scene. You know, they just wall scene right. the kingdom, you know? Yeah, after right. after all hard labor, after all the suffering that we had to go through. Nah. That was talking about what? The Israelites that were living among the Gentiles who didn't know there was Gentiles. Okay, okay, you understand? Okay. Who didn't know there was Israelites. Okay. To, to Adam. They didn't know there was Israelites. Alright? So were we all on this side? Because the scriptures talk about the fallen away. So if it have a fallen away, it also have to have a restoration. Okay. When the most side coming back. Because Paul spoke about that. Isaiah spoke about that. You understand? So at one point we fall away. When we came here in slavery, we totally fell away because we, we forgot our heritage. We, got, we forgot who we were. We forgot the most high, Yahweh, Hashem, and Shai. Alright? But now the Lord re returning unto us and restoring our identity and then I restore us to our rightful place. Ah. Understand? Go ahead. Yes, yeah. In Baruch right. chapter 4 and verse 6, it says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath, mm -hmm. you were delivered unto the enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. You have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell about Zion, the Most High had brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. Yeah, so guess what? Going back to um, Amos 3 and 2, it says, You only have I known, therefore I punish you for your iniquities. Okay. So that is why we kept going into slavery, because why we sinned against the most side. Alright? But now the scripture said what? These iniquities of Jacob shall be searched for and shall not be found. Okay. So Lord gonna wash away all iniquity. I return us to him. So we're going to be perfectly joined unto the Lord and we ain't going to sin no more. Okay. All right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. We're, start, we're yeah, talking yeah. about the, um, the, the, the Gentile foreigners, right? Right. This is um, Romans chapter 9, verse uh, starting at 3. For I could wish that myself was a curse from Hamashiach for my virgin, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law. And the service of Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahushai, and the promises. Yeah, so it's showing who the scriptures was for for Israel. Understand? The adoption, which is the adoption to come back as a son. Understand? That is only pursuing to Israel. Okay. All right? Yeah. So this restoration, this temple restoration that we're in right now, it only have matters to do with us. Basically, the members of the whole family, like the one to that Israel. They're even pursuing to all Israel. Understand? It, it don't pertain to all Israel, it only pertain to the elect. Understand? Because the scripture said to bring them back as the adoption of sons. The ones that the most I call sons was 144,000 men. Okay. Understand? Go ahead. It says Psalm chapter 126, verse 1. It says, When Yahweh turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. Mm -hmm. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen, Yahweh had done great things for them. Yeah, the most had done great things for them. So even he didn't know that this time we're in right now is our time. Okay. It's our time to shine. Okay. It's not their time to shine because the most are only for us. Okay. You understand? And it's short. It's going to be seen shortly. Okay. Go ahead. Finish. Finish. Romans? Yeah. It says in verse 10, it says, Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see. And bow down their back, bound, 
bow down their I back think all next week they say yeah, it, and did they fall come. i say them have they stumbled that they should fall the most i forbid but rather through their fall salvation is come unto the gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy now if the fall of them be the riches of the world and the diminution of them the riches of the gentiles how much more their fullness yeah so guess what that was pursuing to what the israelites that didn't know they were israelites come all right the israelites that didn't know they were israelites that's what it was talking about it wasn't for all is not for all people come. all right because the scriptures say who the adoption put in the glory and the given and the lord the service and the most high come. understand that was um that was Romans you just read. 